Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Collectible Minifigures Series 17. So I have a slew of minifigures here. I picked up what I think is all of them by, by feeling the packages. So I had a little cheat sheet in front of me that showed me a picture of all of them, and I kind of felt for each little accessory. Um, there are going to be some extras, because there were a few extra ones that I wanted, just for my personal collection. So um, we'll probably see a few of those extra ones um, in here. Now, full disclosure, when I bought this set um, or bought these series, there was one figure that I couldn't feel for. And um, at the Lego store where I bought these, the uh, associate told me that they had a few that were already opened that I could trade for. So I found a pack that I already knew what was in there and I traded for this one. So they had this one already opened, and there's a few others that were already opened, but I had found them already in the packs, so I didn't want to get another one. So um, I went ahead and traded one of my packs for this one. So we'll put this one right here with all of the others that will eventually get all right there. So let's begin with our first one. So you kind of push the stuff down a little bit and it's easier it's easiest to open these up with a pair of scissors so here's the first one and this is a really cool one i think i got an extra one of these this is the what i call the 80s workout lady i think the official name is something different but i'm I'm not going to get into like all of the official names. Let me move this light a little bit closer. We can see. You can see she's got the really big happy face, single printed face, and then the big poofy curly hair. So that is super cool. She has this water bottle accessory piece. It's basically the um, a printed one by one round brick with this uh, inkwell piece on the top and you can see she can hold on to that like that so put that right there so that's one down actually two down i didn't have to open one so we had two down next figure all right so this is the muscle man he's in a kind of a caveman suit though it's kind of, kind of weird that he's in that kind of suit because it does have the little beard accessory piece it's actually a mustache it's a real big bushy mustache and he's got the dumbbell piece the 100 milligrams i guess it just says 100 on it could be kilograms, could be tons, pounds, um, grams, whatever metric or imperial unit you want to use for it. So that is our muscle man in his leopard skin outfit. Put him right there. Now each one of these minifigures does come with a checklist. So I guess I could open this up and see, okay, I have that one. Got that one. Got that one. If I wanted to, to check them off, I could do that. Cut the seal for the next one. And this is uh, this is our pastry chef or pie chef cook, whatever you want to call her. This is a cool figure because the, unlike a lot of the previous cooks or chefs that we've gotten in the past, this is the female version. So it has the, the hair pulled up in a little bun in the back. And then it has this really large um, kind of oversized hat compared to the, the previous versions. Now it does have a, a new pie print so the pie mold is something we've had for a while, but this is, looks like a strawberry uh, cream something. It's like whipped cream. And it's got this new accessory. It's a 
a whisk piece. And this is the easy thing to find when I was feeling for these. Well, the pie is easy too, but you can also feel this unique shape of the whisk. So that's a pretty cool figure. And I believe I did get an extra one of those just for the accessories. Moving on to the next one. Okay, so here's one of our extra workout girls. I thought I did get another one of them. And this verifies my feeling. So once again, the custom printed water bottle piece is the unique piece to this as long with, along with the hair. I like the hair. It, it reminds me a little bit of a um, carrot top. The way he has his big bushy curly hair. So maybe uh, perfect for making a, a carrot top style custom minifigure. All right. So our next pack. is a, a warrior figure, kind of a dwarf warrior. because He has the shorter hobbit style legs. It is double molded. It's not a print. You can actually feel a seam there. So you have a dark red and then a um, kind of a burnt orange color along with the dark red again at the bottom. The arms are they have like these armor pieces on there. So that's kind of a double double mold there. He has a beard printed mustache, unlike the weightlifter guy that has the mustache accessory piece. And then he's got the mohawk. There's two accessories, he has a Thor hammer and this Thor hammer, it looks like it has a pig printed on the side. Like a pig with a mohawk. But then he also has a axe accessory. And this accessory is nothing new. We've seen this in many, many sets. But the, the Thor hammer is new. New print and color, I believe. I don't think any of the Thor hammers in the, the past are this um, kind of metallic color. Kind of like a gunmetal color. That's kind of what it looks like. All right, so that's our little warrior guy. Next figure. Ah, this looks like one of my favorites from this set, mostly because of the, the few accessories. Um, so this guy has um, the beret style hat. One of my favorite hats that comes with minifigures. He does have a loaf of bread. There's nothing new here. Standard Lego loaf of bread. If I can get him to hold on to it. Doesn't have much clutch power, but he holds on to it. Now here's the showstopper. We've got a new dog. And it's a little pug or not really a it's kind of a bulldogish. But it's um it's a cool little little dog. This is a dog that in real life, like I would love, like to have. I like little Terrier style dogs. So that's a cool minifigure. I'm really digging that one just because of the dog and the hat. Next up. I'm not feeling these. I could probably feel them before I open them, but I did all that in the store that I just want to open them. Okay, so this is our 80s Miami Vice style guy. And he has a, let me look at the, the picture is also a good way to 
see how you put the, the pieces together. So he has this old style cellular phone. That's his accessory. And then of course the white suit. The short sleeves, not long sleeve suit. Has this cool reflective glasses on. The wavy black hair and the cell phone. And a lot of kids out there don't remember the old cell phones. Maybe they've seen it in old movies or pictures, but you had to pull the antenna up whenever you were either receiving a call or making a call to actually get a better cell reception. So that's why it has this antenna sticking up. It's not like the modern smartphones that don't need a exterior antenna. So that is our cool 80s guy. Next up. All right, another one that I was excited for. This is the, what they call the hot dog guy. So we did have a hot dog soup guy that came out. Jeez, it's been a couple years now since that hot dog soup guy came out. But this is actual um, waiter type of guy. That works at a fast food place or what you assume that. You got the checkered bib on or schmock whatever that is got some happy flare pinned to a schmock and this is pretty cool it has the, the milkshake and this is i believe we've seen this piece it probably is in a different color but um the quickie mart the, the squishies i never purchased the quickie mart really not into simpsons so don't really know but you can see it comes with this cool little serving tray. So you can get a hot dog and a milkshake. And let's see if I can get it on his hand without it falling over. There's no studs on the top of this tray. So yeah, they, they really don't. There's really no way for him to hold on to that tray and the food without it falling off. Well, I guess I could lean him back a little bit. Maybe I'll try that. Bear with me. This is live. Playing with Lego. That's about as close as he's going to get. Covers his face. So interesting thing about this is the hot dog in this minifigure is the first time it came out in dark red. So this actually looks more like a a, uh, a sausage style hot dog that you would see in hot dog specific restaurants so that's pretty cool getting the, the food item in a, a new color all right so here is the corn soup guy there's so many um many figures that come in well, not so many, but there have been so many in the past that are what are called soup guys. You know, you had the shark soup guy, hot dog soup guy, chicken soup guy, um, to name a few. And this is the corn suit guy. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never seen anyone wearing a corn suit. I don't know where this would be applicable unless you're at a fair trying to sell corn on the cob not quite sure but it's one of those things that I think they're um, trying to make sure that every series minifigures every series that they come out has some sort of suit guy moving on to the next one so to say the least um, the suit guy the corn suit guy is not one of my favorites so I know I remember feeling quite a few of them when I was at the Lego store and I passed on all the others. I know some people like to get multiples of some of those suits. There's this one Lego collector I follow on Instagram that 
just buys the the suit characters and when I say buy that's kind of an understatement they post pictures where it looks like they have an absolute army the most recent ones they've been posting are the penguin suit and the um, I think it is the corn I think they are buying a lot of the corn suit guys all right so there's my other uh, hot dog guy sure I'll have another one or two in here well maybe not of the hot dog guy but we'll see ah another barbell guy I don't remember getting another one of these maybe I decided I would get another one to have two of the barbells I definitely know I felt quite a few of these at the Lego store and this is actually the one that I knew what it was because you can easily feel these two round pieces. So I um, got an extra one and traded it for my veterinarian minifigure. Put him back there with all these other guys. Gotta move these back so you can see them all. Alright, moving on to the next one. I can't think of any that... I didn't feel. All right, so here's another one of the, the cooks, the pie chef lady. Very cool accessories. The whisk and the pie. Is that the duplicate of that one? We still have quite a few here. Looks like we have. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. And we definitely don't have that many left to go on our checklist. So we're doing good here. Uh, another one of the hot dog guys. So the hot dog bun came out late last year. I guess mid last year. Specifically in the Angry Birds set. One of the, I think it was the pig castle escape. And then the uh, Lego friend sets, the uh, amusement park sets. There was a couple of those sets that utilized the hot dog bun. So the hot dog bun is not terribly rare, but it's still what I would consider a new piece. Put that there with our army of hot dog servers. All right, this one's pretty cool. This is a fairy. Oh, and that's what I was feeling. This thing is the one I was feeling this in one of. I may have two of these. I was feeling that piece in something and I was like, what is that? I didn't know what it was and I think I threw it in the, the pile of stuff to buy. Not that it's a bad thing, because look at this cool um, wing element. So it's a trans purple or dark pink. And it's got some cool printing on it that you can kind of see through it. The hairpiece has some flowers printed on it. Her face has a flowers printed on it. And there's this uh, bumblebee butterfly looking print on the torso. And so this piece is new, I believe. So the older style of this actually had an anti-stud down here that you could stick onto a stud. And this is just a bar. There's no anti-stud on it. So you pull these little flower pieces off the sprue, which is again another classic piece here. I kind of can't believe they still make. And then you can see she can hold on to that bar. So there's no anti-stud needed because it's specifically meant for being held onto a clip or a minifigure hand. So that is our 
butterfly butterfly girl very cool figure um so after feeling that little stem piece i'm afraid i may have another one in here that i didn't necessarily want so here is our retro spaceman he has a vinyl style cape angry face it's a single printed face is this retro style space helmet and then this cool little retro style blaster kind of reminds me of something you see on old space cartoon like the Jetsons cool minifigure maybe not one of my favorites in the set or in the series but nonetheless it's not a bad minifigure so this is one that people are going nuts over this is our another suit guy so we had the corn suit guy this is actually rocket suit kid so you can see whoops my type if I put his head on you've got this big rocket that actually goes over and his face is peering through a little porthole on the rocket now this this is very easy to feel in the packaging you feel this large piece and to differentiate it between the corn the corn doesn't have this little round knob at the top so you can feel if you feel this large piece you either have the corn guy or the rocket suit guy and if you feel this little nub at the top then you know you have the rocket suit guy um, double printed um, what looks like a homemade piece of artwork that shows the classic space logo and then this is what everyone's going nuts about. It is a classic space torso. So you have the gold planet that the red spaceship is flying around with a little red trail behind it. And this is on a light bluish gray torso. So anything classic space is um, typically highly sought after by classic space fans so any type of classic space fan is going to love that torso so i know for a fact that i got two of those guys so we'll get to that when we get to it all right so this is a another i guess warrior type figure This is very cool because it's got arm printing. So it's got this um, shoulder tattoo looking piece. It looks like it's on a sleeve. It's got some um, armor on the wrists. And then it has this uh, piece of leather that's strapped in kind of over his shoulder. It has a loincloth. So for the most part, he's naked other than the loincloth and then has a um, uh, well groomed to say the least hairpiece considering he's wearing what looks like just tattered cloths with a trident so probably my least favorite figure in the set to be honest with you it's really nothing that's very wow about that one moving on to the next one okay so this one's cool it's just a surfer guy you know we get lego city surfer guys all the time so nothing super cool about the surfer aspect of it but check out this cool shark printed surfboard 
So once again, another cool set to have just for the accessory, which happens to be this radical surfboard. There's our surfer guy. Very cool. I love that surfboard. All right, so let's review our checklist and let's see what we've got here. We've got him, him, her, him, him, her, him, her, him, 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 him. I want that one. So we're missing this. Um, looks like a female elf. And then our mystery fig. That being said, you can see I have two, four, six packs left. So assuming we get at least one of those two remaining, we are going to have extra, more extras. Uh, and speaking of that mystery fig, here it is. So it's basically a... Um, Kind of a, a, a old time soldier. Put that. So he's got a little bandana that goes over his mouth. He has some gunmetal colored pistols, kind of flint pistols. He has the cool little. Parts of the Caribbean style hat. Do you know what I forgot to do? He also has this cape. Sometimes I forget to put the capes on or shawls or whatever these things are called. So there he is. That is the mystery fig, and to be honest with you, looking at the silhouette, there's really not a lot of mystery. It's pretty obvious, kind of what he is. So there's kind of a lot of questions of why this fig was kind of kept secret, secret, because it's really not that unique. You would think if they came out with this cool suit guy that it may be something that would be worth kind of kept a secret. In addition to that, the, um, the reports that I've read online is this is one of the most abundant figures that's in each box of Series 17 figures. So it's not even a rare figure. So it's not like you're, this is a hard to find figure. It's actually one of the easiest figures to find. So those two things, it's, it's a mystery why they wanted to keep it a mystery because it's really not a mystery style or rare collectible figure so you tell me uh, here's the other spacesuit guy spacesuit kid because he's got the little short legs short legs and if they put freckles on the face sometimes that represents a, a younger minifigure no freckles on this one He's wearing the spacesuit with the kid space flag. So got that one. Um, we are looking good here as far as we have most all of our. You know what I'm gonna feel. All right. So now I know this is our final figure right here. So there she is. It's our little elf. Warrior, female elf warrior. And why do you say elf, you may be asking? Well, if you look at the hair piece, it has the, the pointed ears pre-molded on there. So that's usually associated with um, the fantasy of elf species. Not real elves in the real world that, that we know of, but in the fantasy world of elves that's a characteristic of a typical elf. It's got this cool silver printing on the back of her hair. So it's this cool little uh, hair 
I don't know, clip or charm. Then obviously the two by two by two sloped brick with the dress printing on the front. So that's the easiest way to feel this particular minifigure. It's the only figure in this series that has that large slope element. So if you're missing that figure and you're trying to feel for it, that's the best way to find it. So we have three more and these are three extras. Um, looks like I have another one of the um, shorter warrior guys. Put his torso on right. This guy, once again, I got it probably for the um, Thor hammer, that unique hammer. Oh, and the, the Mohawk is really cool, I'm not gonna lie. It's one of my favorite hair pieces. And it's a fairly new piece. Um, well, maybe not. Now that I think about it, I've seen it in quite a few sets. It's not that common, but it's not necessarily a new hair piece. So that's another one of our little dwarf warriors. Here is another hot dog guy. Man, I got four of these guys. I think once I felt that tray, I was like, yep, getting them. So here's the cool stuff about this one. The paper hat that he wears is very cool. The tray, new piece, very cool. You can see he can clip on to his hand like that as well. So maybe that's a way that we can hold the uh, hot dog piece. The milkshake, very cool accessory. And the dark red hot dog. So the hat, the milkshake, the tray, and the hot dog are all worth the money on this one. I got four of those guys. And last figure, it's gonna be a duplicate. Which one is it? Oh yeah, another one of my favorites from the series. Just for the dog. I absolutely love this. Little dog guy. Almost as good as the dog from the, uh, if not better than the dog from the dog show enthusiast or dog show award winner that came out a few series ago. So, move this guy over here with all the others. And there you go. Dog fell off. Dog keeps falling off. So there they are. That is my series 17 collectible minifigures. That is all of them plus some extras. So um, overall it was a um, above average series of minifigures. I would definitely say obviously from the extras that I have here, the hot dog guy is probably my favorite. The um, I don't know what, what they call him, the bread connoisseur or something. Very good. Um, the retro workout grill's good. And the pies are great. The Don't forget the rocket guy. Um, love the dog. And yeah, can't think of really anything else that's super cool. I know some people are digging the, the 80s um, Miami Vice style guy, but he's just average to me nothing super cool about it and of course you got your mystery fig that just i don't know why it's a mystery fig but anyway it's just you know maybe they just ran out of things and like uh make it a mystery let's draw some attention to the series i'm not going to go into too much conspiracy theory we're going to end this right here so hey thanks everyone for watching this was kind of a long video i hope it is something that uh you enjoyed watching let me know. Put a comment down below. Don't forget to check out all my other videos. I'm going to put links down below to all those other videos. Check them all out. And we will see you in the next one.